It's important to build an engaging audience on Twitch, and you want your viewers to interact with your stream on and off the platform. A great way to do this is by creating Twitch panels for your page, which will give your viewers the ability to view your streaming schedule, stay informed with updates, send donations, follow your social channels, and much more. Hey, this is Nick from Snapbun. In today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make some cool looking Twitch panels by repurposing some free customizable templates that will be suitable for your page. So let's get right into it. So what you want to do first is to make sure that you have the right Twitch panel size so that your panels are properly optimized for Twitch's guidelines. The recommended Twitch panel size is 320 pixels by 160 pixels. This is an aspect ratio of 2 by 1 and you want to make sure to keep your Twitch panel image file size under 2.9 megabytes to meet Twitch's requirements. It is important to note that the width is fixed, however you have the ability to extend the length of the panel longer if needed. I will be going over some length variations and use cases within this tutorial to help you understand. To make things easier, I'm going to be using Snappa's free Twitch panel maker. So I'll start by navigating down to the Twitch panel option in Snappa. As you can see, the best optimized size is already built into the app. So once you clicked on the Twitch panel option in Snappa, you'll be able to create a design from scratch, or you can choose from a variety of different templates that Snappa offers. This is nice especially for Twitch panels because there are several variations of panel ideas that you can create, including social media, donations, your streaming schedule, and much more. Once we've found a template design that we like, we can begin to repurpose and customize the panel template to fit our channel's needs. So I've selected this template and now that I'm in the canvas, I want to repurpose this Twitter panel into an Instagram panel that's a bit more personalized to me. So first off, what I want to do is actually edit the text. So I'll change this from at Twitter to actually my Instagram handle. Once I'm done that, I'm actually going to edit the text up here so it says follow me on Instagram rather than for updates. You can also customize this to say, follow me for more content or anything like that. The next thing I want to do is change this Twitter icon to an Instagram icon. So I'll click on it. I'll click on the delete layer button. I'll navigate to the graphics tab. From here, I'll search the icons library for Instagram. Once I found the icon I like, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. As it appears on the canvas, I'm going to click on it again, and I'm going to reposition it and resize it to my liking. So once I have the text and icon that I like, I'm going to change the background here so it's more fitting for me. So I'll navigate to the backgrounds tab. Since I do more photography and more tutorials, I'm going to navigate to the photos tab here and I'm going to search for photography. Once I found the photo that I like, I'm going to navigate down and click on it. Once you found a background photo that you like, you can navigate to the backgrounds tab and reposition the photo. You can scale in or out you can also move it around. Once you're happy with the positioning, you can click apply. Now, if you want the photo to be a bit more bright in the back, you can navigate to the effects tab. And since there's a color overlay, you can decrease the size of the color overlay so that the image appears a bit more bright. In this case, I want to keep it a bit darker, so I'll increase the color overlay by just a bit. Once I'm happy with that, the last thing I'm going to do is reposition the text so that everything's a bit more center. So I'll click on it. I'm going to center the text, and I'm actually going to decrease the size of this icon and reposition it back into place. So once I'm done with my Twitch panel, I'm going to navigate up top. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to go ahead and click Save so that I can make modifications and changes in the future. And finally, I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG. And once the image is downloaded, I can upload it directly into Twitch. So this was just an example of repurposing a social media Twitch panel, but realistically, you can use this Twitch panel and redesign it to anything you really want. So as you can see on this Twitch channel here, the Twitch panels actually vary in height. The width is fixed at 320 pixels. However, the height changes based on the type of Twitch panel. You can see here that the About Twitch panel is actually a square and is a lot larger than all the other Twitch panels. So we can do the exact same in Snappa by repurposing the template that we had before. So the first thing that you want to do to achieve the About Twitch panel is resize the graphic by clicking the button up here. Once you have the Resize tab open, you're going to put in 320 as the width, but you're also going to put in 320 as the height. You can click Override the Current Graphic, or you can open as a new graphic. In this case, I'll override the current one. 
So as you can see, the text and icon remain the same. However, the graphic itself increased in size and now the dimensions are a square rather than a rectangle. So since I like the background photo in the back and the positioning of it, all I'm gonna do now is change the text and the icon. So I'm gonna move this text up here and edit it to say about. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna reposition it to the top. Next up, I'm gonna click on this icon here and delete the layer. So now the last thing I'm gonna do is double click on the text here and I'm actually gonna type in my bio. Once I have my bio ready, I'm gonna center it and I'm also gonna increase the size of the text box. Once I'm done creating and editing my Twitch bio, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to reposition it to the top, and then I'm actually going to add a photo of myself down below. So I'll navigate to the graphics tab, and I'll upload a photo directly into Snapple by clicking upload an image. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on the photo. Once the photo is on the canvas, I'm going to reposition the photo, I'm going to decrease the size, and then center it to my liking. Also remember that you can click on the text and edit it to your liking, so you can change the font style to the font style of your choice. You can also increase or decrease the size, but make sure that your font is large enough so that it can be seen on Twitch clearly. You can also change the font color to the font color of choice. But in this case, I'm actually happy with my About Twitch panel, so I'll navigate to the Downloads tab. I'll click on it, and once again download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality. And once your image is saved to your desktop, you can upload it directly into Twitch once again. So that's it for today's design tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please drop a like, as well as subscribe to our channel, as I'll be continuing to make more and more social media related content, as well as Twitch related content to help you guys out. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.